Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Mike Parsons and I'm the Prevention Program Coordinator here at DECA. Welcome to Sustainability. Along with cultural competence, sustainability is pervasive throughout the entire strategic prevention framework and is essential to think about and address as you go through each step. The purpose of sustainability is ensuring the likelihood of your coalition's work and goals continuing long term including beyond when the initial funding ends. The circular nature of the strategic prevention framework supports sustainability throughout and begins at the start of the process. Here are some definitions. The first definition is offered by the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Administration, or SAMHSA. The second definition comes from the Community Anti-Drug Coalitions of America, or CADCA. Before you move on, take a minute to think about your answers to these questions. What does it mean to be sustainable? How do these definitions differ from other definitions you might have seen? Ultimately, sustainability is about maintaining positive outcomes in communities. When you are planning for and implementing a program or intervention, it is important to consider the items listed on the screen. One of the most important things to consider is that there is typically very little emphasis on building support for outcomes during strategy implementation. So be intentional about highlighting positive outcomes to community members and funders. Before moving on, let's think about your answers to some of these questions. Why is it important to consider sustainability? What might be the blocks or barriers for task force or coalition members or prevention strategies that may limit building support for prevention outcomes? Why does it matter whether members try to build support for prevention outcomes? Sustainability impacts a specific, defined community so that every person in the community will benefit. It engages all sectors of the entire community since the wide range of problems and root causes means that everyone has a stake in the effort. It also addresses conditions and settings within the community as well as promotes comprehensive strategies that are implemented. Finally, sustainability helps achieve desired outcomes in the community. To be sustained, your coalition must identify the support required to maintain your effort and there are four things that a sustainable coalition needs. Committed members, relevance to community issues, credible process and structure, and sustained resources. Coalition members must care about the mission and care about the work. They are the engine that moves the process and are your most important resource. The coalition must be able to clearly articulate how it can serve the community when addressing important issues. Connecting your identified problem with other issues in the community will increase support and buy-in. Finally, sustaining resources includes maintaining volunteers, processes, and resources. Identified problems are not always the top priority for all communities all the time. So, a key part of sustainability is connecting the problem to the most pressing issues of the day. Here are some ways to do that. Identify shared root causes by educating the community on how the coalition's identified problem aligns with other challenges in the community. Demonstrate how issues interact by showing how the current community concern is interconnected with identified problems in your community. Sometimes, reframing a coalition's existing priorities can help maintain the public's attention. And finally, align with champions by forging partnerships with other groups in the community. Many communities have multiple coalitions. These coalitions should be intimately connected and aware of how their work contributes to each other's goals and shared outcomes in the community. It is important to note that some people involved in your coalition efforts will be sprinters, those who are enthusiastic for a few issues or a short amount of time. Others will be marathoners. These are those who are willing and able to commit for the long haul. Not everyone will hang on, so it's important to meet each person where they are and to be sure the tasks align with the individual's commitment and strengths. There are two things to look for when trying to gauge the internal vitality of a coalition. The extent to which a coalition can sustain the efforts of members and partners and continue to harness these toward the larger goals of the coalition. And the extent to which a coalition can maintain a functional base of operations by sustaining the core support roles and administrative resources needed to keep the coalition's work running smoothly. Sustainability encompasses much more than dollars. Your coalition's capacity, its membership, relationships, leadership, and organizational strength is like a goose that lays golden eggs. You must take care of the goose by guarding your capacity. Tracking your progress and keeping an ongoing sense of your group's progress toward goals helps you clearly outline what additional resources are needed and how quickly results can be achieved. 
Stay focused on your goal and the community level of change. Seek local support first. A local first approach means that your coalition will create more opportunities to engage partners, exercise a broader and more creative scope of funding options, and have local buy-in to demonstrate support of any external funding for which you do apply. Your coalition functions because key stakeholders in the community see value in having a collaborative venue. Look for ways that various strategies and partnerships can add value for diverse groups in the community. All coalitions need to make sure that they continuously spread the word about their efforts and impact. And finally, there's always room to grow and more to know about preventing and combating community problems. By keeping an open mind and learning orientation, your coalition will become more resilient and better able to adapt to changing conditions. There are many factors that promote sustainability. Vision is created with your community and accurately reflects community needs and priorities. Community ownership occurs when the initiative is led and or supported by community members. Engage champions with skills in strategic thinking, communication, facilitation, influence, and leadership. Strategies implemented stay focused on prioritized community change strategies that include policies, systems, and environments. A funding plan needs to be created to secure resources needed to enact your action plan. Through learning orientation, evaluation data is used to demonstrate progress, improve or modify programs, and decide what to sustain. With implementation, Key stakeholders are responsible for implementation and can help plan strategies. And finally, in sustainability planning, coalition members have a shared understanding that sustainability is created to develop priorities and identify key stakeholders. In addition to sustaining the efforts of members of the coalition, your coalition needs to continually interact with its surrounding environment to make sure that it and the changes it fosters continue to remain viable over the long term. The levels and types of resources available for your coalition's work will depend on the availability of various funding streams and perceptions about how your goals fit into community priorities. Here are a few things you can do to help sustain resources. Two important factors need to be part of the process when thinking about sustaining operating costs. Flexibility and sustainability. Let's first look at flexibility. Flexibility is a critical characteristic in fostering coalition sustainability, and even more powerful when combined with a healthy perspective of what your coalition needs and to be and look like to achieve its desired outcomes. Sustainability. Sustainability does not necessarily mean forever and ever. It means long enough. Maintain your coalition in the right form at the right level for the right amount of time to achieve your desired outcomes. Your coalition will need the commitment of many people and partners to do your coalition's work over the long period. Key strategies for thinking about and sustaining the effort behind your coalition work includes building and maintaining momentum with many goals and small wins. As your coalition achieves small wins, a sense of productivity and accomplishment greater commitment by members and partners, and a reputation for your coalition as a group that gets things done will follow. Create opportunities for members to keep them involved. Ensure that all participants are valued, regardless of their level of involvement. Commitment to your coalition will grow when the members see that the coalition honors and accepts them as genuine contributors, even if they are not currently part of the coalition's inner circle. Know when the time comes for initiative to move on. While it can make sense for a coalition to take ownership of developing a particular initiative, maintaining these initiatives limits your coalition's ability to be agile and develop new partnerships and strategies for change. This drains the vitality of your coalition and constrains your ability to add value above and beyond the work of the individual organizations in the community. Overcome the issue of silos. Do not feel that your coalition must take on all the problems of the community. Instead, partner with others to find ways to reduce redundant efforts and find joint strategies that benefit everyone's interest. It takes time to change outcomes and sustainable planning is necessary to maintain the action plan beyond just a few years. 
A sustainability plan will allow for long-term action to achieve the desired outcomes. Left to chance, it is rare for needed resources to appear or remain. And like most coalition processes, sustainability planning is more likely to be successful if more coalition members participate. It is important to have a sustainability plan in place from the beginning and to maintain it throughout the entire strategic prevention framework process for the coalition to be successful. The effort to obtain ongoing resources represents a combination of three key elements. The coalition must first identify the resources needed to sustain its efforts. Then the coalition can identify specifically which sources are most likely to provide those resources. Finally, the coalition can develop targeted strategies for each source. Each resource and strategy create a specific opportunity for coalition members to contact a community partner and make a request for needed resources. Coalitions need three types of resources, human, social, and material. Human resources are the volunteer knowledge and skills needed to do the work of the coalition. Social resources are the external connections and relevance to the community issues. Material resources take many forms including money, skills, technology, space, communication, and transportation. Material resources are what most people have in mind when they think about planning for sustainability. Remember that it's just as important for coalitions to have a solid plan for maintaining their human and social resources as it is to develop a plan for finding material resources. No time is the wrong time to start thinking about sustainability. It is often recommended that you keep these questions in mind as you consider the options for your plan. Is what we are doing going to be able to continue over time? Or, what will it take to keep our plans in place over time? Or, is our plan a one and done type event or activity? The following consideration will be helpful in developing a useful sustainability plan. Start with an overall coalition plan. Know what the work entails. Scan the environment. Overcome barriers. And brainstorm possible strategies. Key activities involved in ensuring sustainability involve building support, showing results, and obtaining continued funding. These activities require time, people, and ongoing planning and evaluation. Creating a sustainability plan can ensure that sustainability is carried out in each step of the strategic prevention framework and assist your coalition in meeting its goal of positive community level change. The relationship between sustainability and cultural competence deserves special attention because they need to be managed closely and tend not to receive their fair share of attention. Both should be addressed at every stage of your coalition's work from assessment through evaluation. Some tips for considering cultural competence and sustainability are on the screen. Achieving significant change in your community takes time. The conditions that foster substance use and abuse did not develop overnight and your coalition will not change them quickly. If you are serious about impacting the problem in a meaningful way, acknowledge that you're in it for the long haul. It may take several years to enact the desired changes you identify and realize the long-term effects. Much can, and likely will, happen over the course of those years. Smart coalitions not only get things done now, but they also prepare for changes that can impact the coalition's work in the foreseeable future. A final thought to remember is that you open the doors to sustainability by recognizing, assessing, and building the many strengths your community has to offer and then utilizing all the resources you have in front of you. Here are a few links to resources that can help your coalition plan for sustainability. Thank you for viewing this webinar and best of luck in your sustainability effort. There are additional e-learning modules that can be viewed to support your continued efforts to implement the SPF. Links for these resources are on the screen. Thank you for your time and if you have any questions, please contact your DECA Community Support Specialist who can provide technical assistance or training.